Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Gary Pastishock, Ag Extension, Williamson County. It's December 28th, and uh, it's just a gorgeous day today. We've had some near uh, record warm conditions the last uh, week or two, and really the past month has been quite warm and dry. Um, we're, we did get lucky here. I'm at the uh, uh, experimental, experimental farm at the Stiles Farm Foundation in Thrall, and uh, it looks like we're going to get some more showers in the next, uh, probably next day or two here. But at this site, we had basically deathly dry conditions for about a month from planting, and very, we had very, very, very poor uh, emergence of winter wheat. Uh, wheat really didn't start to emerge until almost a full month after planting uh, into almost powder conditions. Um, much of the wheat looks really poor in the area. However, we were really lucky during the uh, Thanksgiving long weekend. Uh, in Thrall here, there was roughly an inch and a half uh, to uh, an inch and a quarter rainfall. And uh, that really uh, uh, perked up the wheat that was up and also uh, allowed for uh, emergence of the uh, and germination of the rest of the wheat. So now we pretty well have a, a full stand. And driving around the area, I'm seeing it starting to fill in quite nicely. It was looking really sparse prior to this. So uh, I think we're in good shape here for a bit. And uh, we have forecast here probably another inch of rain here in the next few days uh, before New Year's, which is going to be uh, probably just about perfect. And uh, the only thing is we have wheat here that's basically at the one leaf stage to just about three leaf stage now. So there's a there's a bit of bit of difference there, but I think uh, I think the, the wheat will catch up and it'll fill in quite well. Uh, the, the downside with uh, the first month being really dry, with only scattered showers, uh, it stimulated a lot of henbit germination here. So the site is really heavy um, infested with uh, with henbit. And now with the rainfall we had in uh, uh, and over the Thanksgiving long weekend, it did the same thing. It stimulated another flush of henbit. So, uh, so we'll have to look at uh, doing some control measures for henbit uh, in the next uh, probably two weeks is what I'm thinking. Right now, henbit is, is a full pair of leaves right now, is most of it. Plus, there's a lot of just germinating uh, henbit right now. Uh, I walked through the site this morning to see if I could see some differences. Um, again, it's starting to fill in, so things are starting to show a little bit. Uh, what I'm seeing is I think there's a little bit of difference in some of the trials that show um, seed treatment versus no seed treatment. So I think with, uh, with the planting going into dry soil and it's sitting in soil for basically a month, I think maybe there might have been some dry rot uh, fungi attack of uh, some of the non-treated. So uh, that's where I think I could see some, some difference and maybe this will be the year we'll see a, a benefit to actually putting on some seed treatment in winter wheat. Uh, a practice really that's not done a lot around here. Um, anyway, so uh, uh, again, I'm at the, the, the thrall uh, winter wheat plots here, and uh, things are starting to look much better. I was getting a little bit worried that we weren't going to have any rain this winter with the El Nino conditions. So uh, um, I'll, I'll catch up with you in a couple weeks and uh, show you what's going on with these trials. Um, for now, uh, Gary Pastorshock, Ag Extension, Williamson County, signing off. Have a great day.